we're do, we do MMA and like the A stands for artist, right? And I was like, that's literally the perfect description because this feels like beautiful destruction. That's why I chose UPMC. I'm a father of four, so it's like at any given moment in a flight, something can go wrong. I can get hit and lose all of my memories of the of things of things I hold the most the most precious to me, and that is a scary thought. And it's one of those things where I think that for me, I need those thoughts because it it's, adds to the purpose of fighting. And. I like having that. I, I took the more old school approach of cranking out a lot of amateur fights. I had like 14, which is a lot, you know, especially in MMA. And I was just like, I'm ready. Uh, and then I just made the jump. I said like, this is it. I saw, I found myself a pro manager and I was, that was that was it. The only thing left at that point was finding a fight. A lot of gyms you go to, they're, they're specialist gyms where they're specializing in kickboxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, Jiu Jitsu. Like they'll say they're MMA gyms, but they have a specialty. I came here because our specialty is MMA, which is what I fight. That's what brought me here, but also it was like the guys that, that were here. Like I know everyone here, they train hard, they work hard. You know, like I said before, like we have a bunch of killers in the gym. Everyone here is working hard, even if they don't plan on fighting, they still come in. They work hard, they're great training partners. Like you can count on them for anything, for whether it's a hard round or just motivation to get through a round when you really don't want to be here. Which is a very real thing that happens very frequently where we'll come in and we're like, I don't want to be here right now. I just want to be home. But those are the days you grow the most. And it helps because you have I have my teammates to help pull me through it, you know. When I have my fights roll around and I'm scared and I don't know what to do and I'm panicking and I'm fidgeting with my fingers and I'm getting like nervous. They're all there to calm me down and to give their support. So, and it feels like home. Like you walk in here and it just feels like, like you belong. I have always had a struggle with my mental health. Like I was, I have battled with like depression and I have anxiety, PTSD, bipolar. I have a whole, I would say I have a whole mental salad of just, ugh, right? And I used to be ashamed of it. And I never talked about it. I kind of hit it, um, give a little trigger warning. Like I used to self-harm a lot and like I was ashamed of my scars and I just didn't, I, I didn't know how to cope with what was going on. That's, that's my big thing. I've come here at like 11 o'clock at night sometimes and just trained because I just wasn't, I wasn't okay. But I go home, I feel, I feel better. I'm not, I'm not perfect, but I'm better. And I think that's what matters. So just find something, find an outlet. You know, some people it's video games, others it's cooking, baking. For me, it's here. I come here and I train with like, with, with, my, with my friends. And that's, that's how I cope with it. But I do think that it's good to talk about it and not just hide it behind. Cause you don't want to be a slave to your mental health. You're strong, I, you're stronger than that. And at the end of the day, I always want people to know like, I care about you. I want you to genuinely feel the best you possibly can. I want to see everyone live their best possible life as they see fit. So you can't do that if you're in a funk. So let's kind of get out of funky town and get back to sunshine, sunshine and rainbows, you know what I mean?